Have you ever wondered if swallowing semen is harmful to your health? It's one of those questions that many people think about but might feel a little embarrassed to ask out loud. It's a topic surrounded by myths, misinformation, and a lot of curiosity. But let's be clear, being curious about your health is smart, and seeking out reliable information is the most important step you can take. That's why today, we're going to have an open and honest conversation about this. We're going to break down what really happens in your body when semen is ingested. We'll separate the facts from the myths, focus on the real health considerations, and do it all without any judgment or taboo. Because when it comes to your well-being, knowledge is power. So, to really understand the topic, let's start with the basics. What exactly is semen? Simply put, it's a biological fluid produced by the male reproductive system, and its primary purpose is to transport sperm. But sperm only makes up a tiny fraction of it, about 1-5%. to The vast majority of semen is actually a complex fluid called seminal plasma. This plasma is mostly water, but it's packed with other substances designed to nourish and protect the sperm. This includes things like proteins, enzymes, and a type of sugar called fructose, which provides energy for the sperm cells on their journey. It also contains minerals like zinc and calcium. It's also worth noting that the composition, taste, and even the volume of semen can change. Factors like a person's diet, their level of hydration, their overall health, and how frequently they ejaculate can all have an impact. So, it's not a uniform substance, and it varies from person to person and even from day to day. All right, let's get to one of the main questions. From a purely digestive standpoint, is swallowing semen harmful or toxic? The straightforward answer for the vast majority of people is no. Semen is a biological fluid, and our bodies are incredibly well-equipped to handle it. Once ingested, it travels to the stomach, just like any food or drink. The stomach is a highly acidic environment, with powerful digestive juices designed to break down substances, especially proteins, and neutralize bacteria. The components of semen are easily broken down by these acids and enzymes. Essentially, your digestive system treats it like any other protein-containing substance it encounters. It's processed, its components are absorbed or discarded, and it doesn't cause poisoning or disrupt your body's hormonal balance. So, from a digestive perspective, there are no inherent dangers. But, and this is a very important, but that doesn't mean the practice is entirely without risk. The real health considerations aren't about digestion at all, they're about what the semen might be carrying. This is, without a doubt, the most critical part of this conversation. The single greatest health risk associated with swallowing semen is the transmission of sexually transmitted infections, or STIs. Semen is a bodily fluid that can act as a direct vehicle for viruses and bacteria. If the person ejaculating has an STI, those pathogens can be present in their semen, even if they have absolutely no visible symptoms. Many SDIs are asymptomatic for long periods. This includes a wide range of infections, such as HIV, herpes, human papillomavirus, HPV, which can cause oral warts and even throat cancer, gonorrhea, chlamydia, syphilis, and hepatitis B and C. Transmission happens when the infected fluid comes into contact with the mucous membranes in your mouth, throat, or on your tongue. These tissues are soft and permeable, and they can allow pathogens to enter your bloodstream. The risk becomes even higher if you have any small cuts, sores, canker sores, or even common gum inflammation like gingivitis. We often get tiny, unnoticeable breaks in the skin inside our mouths from brushing our teeth or eating crunchy food. These create a much easier entry point for viruses and bacteria to pass from the semen into your system. This is why understanding your partner's sexual health history and getting tested regularly is so important in any sexual relationship. For casual encounters or with partners whose status is unknown, using a condom during oral sex is the most effective way to protect yourself from these potential infections. Now, let's talk about a less common but still very real possibility, an allergic reaction to semen. While it's not common, some people do experience this. The condition is known as human seminal plasma hypersensitivity, or HSP. It's an allergic reaction to the proteins found in the seminal plasma, not the sperm itself. 
For people with this condition, exposure to semen can cause allergic reactions ranging from mild to severe. Mild symptoms might include localized itching, redness, swelling, or hives in the area where the semen made contact. However, in more serious cases, it can lead to systemic reactions affecting the whole body. This can include difficulty breathing, swelling of the throat, and in very rare instances, anaphylactic shock, which is a life-threatening medical emergency that requires immediate attention. There have even been documented cases where a person had a severe allergic reaction not to the semen itself, but to something the partner had consumed. For example, if a person is highly allergic to a specific antibiotic like penicillin and their partner is taking that medication, traces of it can be present in their semen. For the person with the severe allergy, this exposure, even in trace amounts, could be enough to trigger a dangerous reaction. Again, this is extremely rare, but it highlights how interconnected our bodies are and serves as another reason why open communication with your partner about health, medications, and allergies is absolutely crucial for staying safe. And while we're on the topic of ensuring a healthy and confident sex life, it's important to address all aspects of well-being. Beyond safety, another major source of anxiety for many men is sexual performance. Issues like struggling to get or stay firm can cause immense stress and affect relationships. For those interested in a powerful, all-natural approach to this, I've come across some eye-opening information about a simple seven-second home remedy that addresses the real scientific root cause of these problems without pills or side effects. If this is something you or your partner might find valuable, you can learn more by watching a short private video. Point your phone's camera at the QR code on your screen right now to watch it. Don't worry if you miss it. I've also put the direct link in the pinned comment below this video. All right, now that we've covered that, let's get back to our main topic and tackle a few common myths. Beyond the core health facts, there are a few persistent myths about swallowing semen that we need to clear up once and for all. First and foremost, the myth that you can get pregnant from swallowing semen. Let's be absolutely clear. This is biologically impossible. Pregnancy can only occur when sperm travels through the female reproductive tract, the vagina, cervix, and uterus, to fertilize an egg. The digestive system and the reproductive system are completely separate pathways in the body. There is no connection that would allow sperm to travel from your stomach to your uterus. So, there is a 0% risk of pregnancy from this act. Another common idea you might see online is that semen has significant nutritional or even skincare benefits. While it's true that semen contains proteins, vitamins, and minerals, the quantities are incredibly small. The amount in a typical ejaculate is nutritionally negligible. To put it in perspective, you would get far more protein from a single sip of milk or a tiny bite of an almond. So. While it's not harmful to digest, it's certainly not a health supplement or a superfood. So, let's bring it all together. What have we learned? From a purely physiological and digestive standpoint, swallowing semen is generally not harmful. Your body simply breaks it down. However, the most significant and real risk comes from the potential transmission of SDIs, which can have serious, long-term health consequences. We also learned that semen allergies, while rare, do exist and can be serious. And we've confirmed that you cannot get pregnant from it, nor does it offer any meaningful nutritional benefits. So, what does this mean for you in practice? It all comes down to safety, trust, and communication. In a long-term, monogamous relationship where both partners have been tested for SDIs, trust each other, and are open about their sexual health, the risk is very low. You can make an informed decision together that feels right for you. However, for casual encounters, or if you have any doubts about a partner's health status, protection is key. The best way to reduce your risk of SDIs is by using protection, like condoms, even for oral sex. Your health has to be the top priority. Ultimately, decisions about your sex life are deeply personal, but they should always be informed decisions. Talk to your partners about sexual health, make getting tested a regular part of your healthcare routine, and never feel ashamed to ask questions about your body and your well-being. Thank you for watching and stay safe.